Hinmon Stories land is a natural resource, one of the most important factors of production in the world of economics. Its allocation, distribution and use is controlled by unfavorable factors with vulnerable groups most affected. Now in Uganda, investment and poverty are responsible for land wrangles. The judiciary is at crossroads to resolve all cases related to land. Anybody, any broker, anybody comes to me that there is a land for sale, I said, ah, stay away, stay away. One can never miss listening to who's from persons affected by land conflicts. My Lord, this Who time pass? existed even before I, I, I did. It existed before you did, and that's why you are, you are earning two down. Land disputes have affected almost all parts of the country. Elderly persons have become victims of land evictions. Some season, uh, around, uh, I think some people can calculate. I think some people can calculate. 90 year old Anna Maria Patale of Napak district in Karamoja sub region was displaced from over 40 acres of land by Lokong Israel, a business tycoon in Napak. She does not remember where Lokong comes from and she comes to anybody in the land of her, her, her father. You are the one? No. No. <laughs> In Central Region, Wakiso District, at Katalemwa, Prime Real Estate Director Ruta Ngamba hoodwinked the family of the late Katerega to take over a hundred acres. They agreed the price, but Ruta Ngamba never paid the family after the sale of the estate. <laughs> Where do you get this callousness to do these things? That's my Lord Where do you get this this power? <laughs> my Lord Where do you get this authority? In Mubende district, an investor abid alarm displaced tenants to start a sugarcane plantation. There was an incident of unknown thugs who went and invaded the family camp of Dr. Jacob Odong a neighbor to the investor, Abid Aram, and destroyed the number of his properties. Many were killed on orders of a bid as police turned away. We have not arrested any suspect up to now. A foreigner can own land, but not outside the city. You cannot go in a deep somewhere in Mubende and buy land as a foreigner. In Arua district, West Nile subregion, non-documentation of land, especially for churches and mosques, is common. Therefore, many people have lost land, as allegation of witchcraft takes center stage. You know, when they say you're a witch, first of all, you become, I want to say, powerless. Everybody actually deserts you. You, you become an outcast. That's one way of... Uh, well, first of all, finishing you. All documentation is delayed, with many land titles displaced. The poor citizens suffer. Ugandans, do you think the area land boards should continue? Do you think the district land boards should continue? Is there something else we can do instead? Although the disarmament of the Karimajong brought peace in the region, it also escalated land disputes with the emergence of land grabbers in disguise of investment. And that it's a, it's a huge bone of contention. Whose land was it after the insurgency? And I don't know whether we have answers yet. Decommissioning of the land used for mining is also a challenge in the region. There is a real fear that there are a lot of concessions that have been given away. It is like the land, the whole land in in that area has um, rights that have already been granted by the Minister of Energy and now people don't know what they are sitting on. Most of the land in Karamoja is actually a national game park. Either it's forest reserve or a national park. Now, that presents a big problem for people who are pastoralists, for people who want their land back. We were told about a, a community called the Tepeth, 
the Tepes live on the on the on a central reserve, and um, I think also called Tepes. And um, they have lived there all their lives. In fact, they, they said before they went to the mountains, they actually used to occupy Moroto. And they believe that they're the first original owners of Moroto. That's what they believe. And now they are uh, pushed into the mountains. They can actually live there, but then they're being told that they're foreigners there. They are not part of the mountain, and they should leave the mountain. But then where will they go? However, green spaces affected physical planning of Arua. The Arua Hill. That hill would be a, a, a tourism attraction uh, s uh, place for us. But now you can see that the physical planning has, uh, uh, has uh, planned it for, uh, for accommodation. On the question of land that was taken during the colonial period, Lumumba says it is the duty of government to take over it. I hold the view that the government must use its radical power to compulsorily acquire that land. And this is the politics that has engaged in land. Politicians have used the opposition to acquire land and people owned lands in different parts of the country that they had never seen at all. They only had these title deeds. Land is a very emotive issue. The only next emotive issue after land is elections. But what could have been the solution to this problem? We must do something with our physical planning and begin to grow up as we deal with the question of land. And you have just escaped. How many judges do you have in the land division? Huh? Four. So he needs at least six years to dispose of the current load. Some cases are like peeling an onion. And as you peel the onion, you realize that there is some other information that you had not been privy to. And this means many people will lose land, more vulnerable people will lose land. But the whole problem lies squarely on the leadership, the members of parliament, the district leaders. Why should somebody come and buy 30,000 square miles in your area over which you have jurisdiction? Where are you going to put those people who are found on the land? You can actually find a person having a title to, to, parla to the parliament of Uganda. Land is a key resource on which life rests for every activity to take place. Land is required. I have, not, I have not been able to hear of any single case where a poor person has access to justice. <laughs> Despite efforts to turn into courts, there are over 500 land cases that have not been heard in court in the past six years. But the Commission of Inquiry into Landmark